Hey everyone, welcome to another Photoshop editing tutorial. For this video we are going to work on a very calm early morning landscape shot which I want to enhance by making the colors a little bit stronger but also adding a lot more contrast by introducing some more highlights to the image. So we are going to do probably most of the work with the camera raw editor. If you want to follow along as always you can find the raw file in the description of the video and now let's jump into it. So here we have the raw file up in the corners. You can already see some vignetting going on from the filters I have attached to the lens. That should be easily fixed later in Photoshop. For now, let's start by changing the profile from Adobe Color to Adobe Landscape to boost the base saturation a little bit and also brighten up the darkest spots a bit. Then let's open up the basic panel. For this image, I do want to keep the colder color theme, but I still want to fix the white balance a little bit because at that point, the shot is a bit too cold. So I'm going to simply increase the temperature. I'm just going to increase a little bit because as I said, I want to keep the blue tones, but just make it a bit warmer. I'm not going to touch the tint. So let's work on the exposure. As I said earlier, I do want to add contrast by introducing some more bright areas in this image. So I can do that by simply bringing up the highlights and I'm always paying close attention to the histogram because I don't want to overexpose this image too badly. I think that is looking good. Let's not overdo this right here. For some more contrast, we can bring down the shadows. Of course, due to the vignetting which is going on in this image, there will be some underexposure shown in the histogram. But of course, that's just for those very dark vignetted areas. So let's continue by introducing some whites. Again, this will just help with the contrast and make the brightest areas a bit brighter. So that's looking good. Not going to touch the blacks, I guess, but I do want to introduce some texture just to give the shot some more sharpness. I'm skipping over the clarity and the dehaze, but I do want to bring up the vibrance just a bit. I want the shot to be saturated, so this will help. So here we have the image after the base adjustments. The added highlights do change up the image quite a bit. I think it looks much, much better this way with that boardwalk just leading into the highlights. Now let's enhance the shot some more by applying some masking. And for this shot, I actually want to try some of those new masks. For example, let's choose this objects mask. I do want to select the boardwalk. So I guess all I need to do is to just brush over this area and hopefully we get a good selection. That is looking decent. Of course, the very near foreground is not included because that's just too dark, I guess. So let's just add a brush and I'm going to paint this in manually. Okay, so what I want to do on this boardwalk is to just raise the highlights all the way up. And I'm also going to add some temperature. And the reason for me to do that is I want this boardwalk to be very, very warm relative to the surrounding area. So we do get some kind of color contrast going on with the orange boardwalk against that blue landscape in the background. I can further improve this effect by bringing up the saturation just like that. Let's see, maybe I can play around with the temperature some more, but of course I don't want to overdo that. Let's go with something like this. And finally, let's add a little bit of clarity just to make the boardwalk pop. And that's it for this mask. Then I do want to work on the sky. Therefore, I'm using a simple linear gradient just drag one down like this and the reason for me to do this is to simply bring down the exposure and thus just make the top part of the sky darker perfect finally let's create a radial gradient just above the water surface i'm going to make it rather thin and i'm going to use this to add some kind of fake fog effect for that, I'm going to bring up the blacks all the way and I'm also going to drop the dehaze slightly. This will make this area just a little more interesting, especially with the boardwalk leading up to this point. 
And that's it for the masking. So let me deactivate it so you can see the difference. Looks much, much better. Then let's do a little bit of color grading. First, let me open up the color mixer. I actually did forget to reset those settings. So what I did here is to simply bring up the orange saturation, which will just affect the boardwalk down here. And I also brought down the blue saturation because let me reset it real quick so you can see how we are getting overwhelmed by all those blue color tones. To counter that, I just brought down the blue saturation. So that's already it for the color mixer. However, I do want to apply some split toning in the color grading tab. The highlights aren't really that interesting. So I just want to focus on the shadows, giving them a blue hue somewhere around here with a very low amount of saturation again. And then I'm heading into the midtones and I'm basically applying the same hue somewhere in that range. And again, I'm bringing up the saturation just a tiny bit. Perfect. And that is already it for the color grading. So you see, that's really, really simple. I can show you the before and after real quick once more. So while we do have some more intense colors, we also have some more color contrast going on with that boardwalk just being a little warmer than the rest of the image. So that works really, really well on this shot. Of course, I also want to sharpen this image. So let's open up the details tab and I'm always using the same settings. I'm bringing down the radius, then I'm bringing up the details and of course, I also want to apply some masking, so only the important areas are affected by it. So that's looking good. And then I'm just playing around with the amount of sharpening. So I think that looks pretty good. And for the next step, I do want to open up this object in Photoshop and just finish the editing process. All right, so first off, I think I do need to crop this shot a little bit. I'm hitting C to bring up the crop settings right here and I'm just taking away parts from the top because composition wise it, it's looking a little strange with that much sky. I think that is looking way better. So let's just apply it like this. Then I can start working on cleaning up the shot. First off, let me grab the lasso tool and try to fix the vignetting. With that selection, I'm hitting Shift F5 choose content aware and hit OK. You can see that works pretty good. Let's do the same on the other side. Perfect. Now for all those sensor spots, I'm going to zoom in a bit and just start painting over all those dots. By the way, I have finally cleaned my camera sensor. So for the next upcoming videos, I hope I can skip this step. All right, that's looking really clean already. Let's see if you can enchant the contrast some more. For that, let's open up the adjustment layers and add a curves adjustment layer. I'm going to try and apply a simple S curve. So let's bring down the point for the shadows and raise the point for the highlights. Just like that. It does add a lot more contrast, but it might be a bit too strong. So let's just bring down the opacity. I think that's looking much, much better. Then I'm still not satisfied with the colors. I do think the blue tones are too saturated. So I do want to bring down the overall vibrance by using a vibrance adjustment layer. Here, just bring down the vibrance. As we do this, we are just taming those strong color tones. Much better. Then I do think about adding some dodging and burning. So let's create a new layer switch the blending mode to overlay and as always for the dodging and burning i'm using the tk panel plugin this is a paid plugin but there is a free version available with just a bit less functions so let me see i first want to try and target the boardwalk to be more precise those orange color tones of the boardwalk i'm going to do this by hovering over the color button right here and here i'm going with red so at the moment, this mask isn't covering enough of the boardwalk for my test. Still, let's go activate the layer mask mode and go apply the red color selection as the layer mask. What I can do next is to just modify by expanding that mask. I'm clicking on that button a few times and you can see how we can nicely select a little bit more of it. 
All right. So with that selection, I am going to grab the brush tool by pressing B. I'm going to set the brush opacity to a lower amount and I'm going to set the foreground color, color to white. Then let's just brush a bit over those color tones on the boardwalk. And you can see how we can easily brighten up those specific color tones by just doing a bit of dodging here. Looks so much better. Maybe I do want to brighten up the whole boardwalk a bit. So let's just create another overlay layer and just carefully brush in once or twice just to make it a little brighter. Seems to be a bit too strong, so I'm going to bring down the opacity of that overlay layer, but that looks great. Then I do want to make those dark parts on the horizon a little darker. Therefore, I'm creating a new overlay layer and this time, of course, we are going to select a darks mask. Let's see. I think the darks fall looks pretty promising, so I'm going to use that on the overlay layer. And now with the black brush, let's just make those hills in the distance a little darker. Perfect. And at this point, I do want to stop the editing to not overdo it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and interesting. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.